the car crazy petrol heads that we are, we weren't happy with just the sports prototype to showcase our skills. And also the sports prototype is, appeals to a relatively small market because it's a very niche car. We wanted to do something that appealed to a wider market, also that appealed to people that a car they see and they immediately know what it is and where it comes from, a car that kids have on their bedroom wall as a poster, something that really awakens the senses from a visual perspective. And something that came to mind to us was a Cobra. So basically what we've done is we've taken a Cobra, we've built our own chassis and done our own suspension design, taken a Cobra body and as we did with the sports prototype, evolved it to what we think it could or should be. This is not meant in any way to upset the purists or to ruffle anyone's feathers. What we're trying to do is show how it's possible to take an iconic vehicle or a vehicle that you really like and take it further and make it your own, add uh, aspects to the vehicle that maybe you feel it should have had or make it better in your vision. And that's what we've done with the Venom. Basically what we've done with the styling is to make the vehicle what we believe more aggressive and more visually appealing. Additional to that, we've also enhanced the driving position or what we believe to be enhancing the driver's position. When you drive in a standard Cobra, you tend to sit more on top of the car, not so much in the car. So we've gone more for a race car, supercar type feel and actually wanting to build a bit more of a baby supercar type feel vehicle and therefore we've adjusted the driving position so that you sit more in the vehicle, a more immersive experience again, much like our sports prototype. From a technical perspective on the vehicle, we uh, designed the chassis in-house. We did use a basic Cobra idea, and then we've rebuilt the chassis according to our own specs. Once again, fabricated and designed and built in-house. And then we're running QA1 shocks like we run on the sports prototype, but on the front end of the Venom, we are running inboard shocks with pushrod suspension, uh, solid rear axle with panard bar, also with coilovers. So we're hoping for a car that has really good track manners, but is that a vehicle, a vehicle that you can drive to the track, play around on the track, have a bit of fun, drive home, go on a Sunday brunch cruise or a breakfast run. Uh, you know, a vehicle that ticks all the boxes, something that you, you can enjoy, every, you're doing everything with. Um, there's no specific reason for the pushrod suspension in the front other than it looks cool. It obviously will perform exceptionally well, but again, sight, smell, all of those emotions. You open the engine bay, cool motor, looks good. You can see the suspension, looks cool. You know, again, we just want to awaken those senses. Uh, on the engine side, although again, I should mention that with all of our vehicles, the sports prototype or the Venom, we're open to building vehicles with whatever your choice of engine is. We'll obviously guide you from the perspective of whether we think the engine will work in the vehicle, but we're open to suggestions and ideas. Uh, this particular vehicle is running a 5 litre Ford V8 crate motor. Woolwood brakes in the front, uh, Woolwood brakes in the rear as well, American racing wheels. We've stuck with the traditional look from a wheel perspective, but we've gone quite a bit wider. It's running a road legal semi-slick, so again, we're looking for ride and handling ca characteristics that are really exceptional. Something, again, with a baby supercar that's going to perform ex exceptionally well. On the rear end of the car, we didn't make too many changes, although we have smoothed the rear end off quite a bit. We want to run smaller tail lights, just give the car a more neat and tidy, aggressive look from the rear. We obviously added the roll bar humps, which gives the car a more racy sort of look. We spoke previously about the driver's position, which we've enhanced. We've tried to narrow the center console quite a bit. Although the, it obviously houses the gearbox, we've tried to narrow it so that you don't sit like you do often in a Cobra, sort of side saddled. We've tried to get the driver more straight. We're running a Willwood pedal box, so once again, more of a race car type feeling. Again, that'll give you much more feedback from a braking perspective, make the car more immersive to drive. 
Again, we've lowered the driving position quite a bit to give you that lower race car, supercar type feel. We did toy with using some other engine types. We even thought about using the 2.3 litre EcoBoost engine, but we decided to stick with a more traditional engine configuration in the V8, also because of the sound. Again, the emotive aspect of the vehicle, the V8 has the sound. We will run side pipes on the vehicle like a traditional Cobra. The inboard suspension with the QA1 shocks, which are a favorite of ours, very cost effective, but great performance. And then obviously American racing wheels, look cool, kind of an old school look, but a bit more of a new school look with a deep dish, and then the Woolwood calipers. We want to build cars that are, like one of our other slogans, engineered to exhilarate. We want car people, the car to talk to people, not just to be a car you get in and drive. It must visually appeal to people, it must emotionally appeal, the sound, the sight, the smells, everything about that that makes a petrol head a petrol head is what we're trying to target with our vehicles.